One of the focuses of Keen Sword 15 is search and rescue. In this case, HH-60 helicopter crews are alerted to the site of a sunken cargo ship off the coast of Komatsu. American and Japanese crews, complete with pararescue jumpers, must work together to rescue any surviving passengers. Japanese air rescue sets out first to locate the site of the disaster, calling on American support due to the number of survivors in the water. This type of response is something that we would do unilaterally as the U.S. only to potentially a U.S. vessel, but uh, it's the first time that we've really talked about or tried to execute any kind of bilateral U.S. and Japanese civil search and rescue. So in circumstances like we see this scenario... It just makes sense to be able to be flexible enough to use whatever asset is in the best position to make the best rescue. How many are we picking up? After quick coordination, U.S. search and rescue arrives on location to rescue the two remaining survivors. Japanese air rescue has collected three, and all this communication made possible by an additional resource. We had a fixed-wing aircraft overhead who was acting as the rescue mission commander, and that's a pretty key coordination piece, so that you've got somebody who has a detached view of everything that's going on below him, and can communicate to everybody who's involved to help keep people apart, keep people from running into each other. Between the American and Japanese crews, all five surviving passengers of the sunken cargo ship were rescued and were able to call this mission successful. Reporting from Komatsu Air Base, Japan, I'm Staff Sergeant Mike Larman.